Good morning, everybody. Uh, Monday, the 22nd of June. Big day ahead. Good to see so many of you on the grid so early. And thanks for keeping out the way of the big airliner that's just landed. So what do we have? Well, we've lost all of the instability that we had uh, just before and at the first part of the weekend. And we've now got an area of high pressure building in from the south, uh, which is introducing some slightly drier and some slightly warmer conditions for the next few days. You can see low pressure out to the west here. That's going to be defeated quite easily by the, uh, the strength of the high pressure. And as we go into the uh, rest of the week, we'll start to pick up a more of a southeasterly flow and it will start getting hotter. So today, though there'll be evidence that there is a warm front out to the west, it will not be particularly significant. Certainly no rain or anything like that. Just maybe a bit of moisture if you go too far west. Uh, we can see that moisture on here at the moment. And you can see it's sort of tracking into Wales, uh, but it's not really getting much past that. And hopefully, um, if anything, if it does get closer to here, it will just be thin high cover, nothing too significant. But uh, yeah, that is sort of spilling into Wales at the moment, and we'll keep an eye on that. The rest of the task areas, especially out to the East Anglia, look really, really good, nice and clear, nothing too significant. Maybe a bit of low cloud along the coasts this morning. Uh, it is a little bit more humid today, but uh, yeah nothing particularly significant weather-wise in terms of rain or cloud. Infrared is similar. You can see there's not particularly uh, too much in the way of upper cloud in the area we're looking to go flying in. Winds, uh, we've got still got that sort of fairly fresh southwesterly uh, during the day. And we can see that on the charts, which is showing sort of 210, um, maybe a bit more west in the wind further north. Uh, between somewhere between about 15 and 20 knots and uh, generally the same over the task area. So uh, not a calm day, sorry Adrian, but uh, uh, nice enough anyway, nice long uh, soaring day. I said summer solstice was over the weekend, so sunset is not really until about quarter to 10. Public forecast is showing broadly similar, um, maybe a smidge down on the temperatures, uh, than uh, the other forecasts are showing, but yep, generally southwesterly, maybe becoming a little bit more southerly as the sea breeze or sort of sea air influence comes in uh, mid to late afternoon. Has been so sounding, it was showing uh, that, yep, about, what's that, 18, uh, 17, 18 degrees or so would kick things off. Oh, it might actually be a little bit less than that because it's already 14, that's probably, yeah, the scale's not too great on this, but uh, we've already got some form of convection out there because uh, we can see cumulus, uh, but it might be suckers cumulus for the moment, but uh, it will get better as the day goes on and the cloud base should go up. Fairly strong inversion and that features on all of the predicted soundings as well. So that keeps a lid on things compared to last week where we saw some fairly hefty showers. Temperature for today, probably uh, in the region of about 20 degrees in our area and dew points uh, getting close to single figures as they can. Good, okay, PFD slightly less than it was showing uh, yesterday evening, uh, but still a good day heading out towards the north and northeast, but instead of staying away from coasts or anything that has anything to do with the English Channel, or maybe the Bristol Channel if, if you're up sort of around here. So, yeah, north and northeast look really good, but the strength of the wind is going to be a slight limiting factor. But at least we've got a long day. By 10 o'clock, uh, we've sort of got convection around here. And if I look outside, yep, we've just got nice cumulus. So we've got cumulus probably about two and a half thousand feet at the moment above sites. Uh, by hopefully 11 o'clock, when I'm almost certain we should be starting to launch. If not, we've launched slightly before then. Um, we should have cumulus above sites to 3,000 feet, three and a half probably by halfway through the grid launch. And by lunchtime, general area probably 4,000 feet above sites. Up to the north and to the northeast, generally similar, maybe a bit chance of more blue conditions, but it's good in the Thames Valley up towards Oxford, Bisterway etc. Uh, into the afternoon you can start to see the effect of the uh, sea breeze front that we'll probably have by mid to late afternoon. So that's spoil conditions locally but coming in from the north with the long day you should still be able to get onto final glide easily by 5, 5.30 to get back into here. Uh, just take into account that there might be a sea breeze front uh, and a slightly stronger wind. 
Okay, so that's the thermal prediction. We'll have a look at cloud. Yep, I said sort of spotted cumulus over a uh, hopefully shallow Q more than blue, but uh, it may go sort of more completely blue uh, from the south as the day goes on. So we'll just keep an eye on that, see what happens. So at the moment, Odium were reporting uh, southwesterly winds and a cloud base of 2,000 feet, which has already been rising. And they're sort of talking about three and a half above site for the day. Predicted soundings. Uh, Buckingham at two o'clock, showing sort of 4,000 feet uh, above the site, fairly solid inversion with cumulus. This is Cambridge at two o'clock, similar, maybe a little bit higher, um, maybe four to four and a half thousand feet. Again, so similar solid inversion, uh, lines slightly further apart, small, potentially more shallow queue, but nothing in the way of particularly bad. A top cover or anything like that. And finally, uh, let's exter, let's look at another one, uh, let's look out towards the west, uh, sort of fair fit at two o'clock, broadly similar, maybe just that little bit lower. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really show too much frontal activity from that warm front as that weakens. So yeah, good across a wide area, but north and northeast are probably better. Okay, no TAMs. Solent are active from uh, 11 o'clock local all the way through to late this evening. Uh, they have been quite friendly to gliders in the last couple of days. So if you need to transit through there, then by all means, but I don't think anybody's going particularly west today. Fairford active all day. Uh, Chilton Park may have gliding. These are paraglider NOTAMs. I think there's some activity in Boscombe Down area as well. We'll just look at 18. Yeah, or Eversley. So yeah, that's active all day. The de general danger areas around Boscombe are busy. Um, oh, and Andy's raised a hand. Okay, sort of as they're doing some dropping of articles up sort of near Marham, just north of that sort of 31. If anybody's going really far. Uh, yeah, mi military parachuting from uh, two o'clock this afternoon, uh, sort of Sculthorpe Airfield near Norfolk. Uh, good. I can see the two people have raised their hands. Let's have a look. Uh, I can see Morag and Andy have raised hands. If you've got a question, I don't know if you got a session, but uh, I'll have to include that. But if you can type away, if you're going to chat, you'll be able to type a question if you've got one. Uh, so, yeah, let's keep going up. Okay, but generally other than that's fairly clear rounds. Uh, us, no restricted area, temporaries or anything like that. Uh, all the usual bits of airspace, uh, the controlled airspace active now, so commercial flying is coming back. Uh, on the airfield, we are 2-7 at the moment. Um, jet movement has happened, uh, so there's no more for today. Uh, we are reintroducing this evening for the instructors winch launching. Uh, that may have to happen on 2-3 due to the strength of the wind. Uh, as the sea breeze comes in. So if you're sort of returning sort of 4.30 onwards, you may find that we may have had to change. I want to try and stay on uh, on 2.7 as much as possible to allow you to all uh, land uh, in a sensible place near your trailer. But uh, alas, if, if we can't manage that, uh, we may have to go on to 2.3 and there might have to be a little bit more uh, uh, glide towing involved uh, with cars. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, if you are operating the airfield when we are winching, uh, just remember where cables will be. And, and obviously if you're operating a motor glider, not to taxi over cables and et cetera. So just keep your head on uh, with, with winching. It might seem something that we've done all the time, but we haven't really done it for over three months. So, and some of you haven't been here over the winter, won't have seen it for even longer. So. Uh, sort of stay sensible and stay safe uh, when we're starting to winch launch again today and we're going to be seeing that for most of the rest of the week in the evenings as well before we reintroduce winching a little bit closer to July. Okay uh, unless there's any other questions and you can raise them in the chat if you push alt and h on your keyboard or if you're watching this on tablet yeah, I'll have to have a think uh, but but yeah otherwise come and see me on the grid hopefully we can get start getting people away by 10 30 or so we've got five tugs at this at the moment uh, restaurant is open for takeaways and bar will be open when you get back and roadwork seems to be okay today uh so i'll see you out there shortly bye for now <laughs>